It's Wednesday night. It's break night. We're going to be uh, doing two breaks tonight. Uh, and then hopefully we can get the other three going for Friday. They're moving along. Um, but tonight we're going to be doing a half case of Donruss Elite Football. So that's uh, six boxes right here. All right. And there's um, one memorabilia card and at least one, I think, rookie autograph per box. And then there's the case case hit of a uh, Pen Pals autograph, which has multiple players on it. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different for this break because of the fact that we have a 50-50 shot of getting one of those Pen Pals cards. Our normal tiebreaker rules apply for um, for the regular base cards. If there's a multiple player card, we start at the top and the left and work our way across and down. Um, so the first person pictured, that's the team that gets it. If that, you know, we're doing six boxes, a possibility of a, an insert card showing up again. Um, the second person would then get the next one, uh, and so forth and so on. But um, for the pen pals, it will be randomed between the teams that are listed on the card if we end up hitting one. So that way, um, you know, because it's a it's a desired hit, and there's a good chance of getting on there. Normally, I don't do that because you're talking about like you know, like in baseball, like Mike Trout, Bryce Harper numbered out of five. The odds of that are just so slim that it doesn't make sense for me to skew the pricing for the teams. I just, you know, if Mike Trout shows up first, then, you know, the Angels, you know, are a dollar more expensive and, uh, and and they get that they get that Mike Trout. I don't know. However it gets uh, figured out. But, um, but that's how that works for that. Um, in addition to the six boxes of elite football, don't forget... We do have the game day great jersey that is also included in this break. So that's going to be break number one. Break number two is going to be a half case of Donruss Optic. So we got a case here. We're going to open it up and we're going to take the top half out. And we're going to have a good time with that one too. So if somebody owns two of the three teams... Um, when I do a random, it's based on team. So let's say, uh, you know, it's, uh, who, who's the big three? Uh, Paxton Lynch, uh, Christian Hackenberg, and, uh, and Jared Goff, and, and Wentz. Say it's a four-player one, right? And say you got two of those teams. Well, you got two chances of getting it out of the four. So uh, if it's a three-team one and you own two of them, then you have a 66.667% chance of, uh, of getting the card so that that one team will still have the chance of getting it, but uh, obviously the odds will be diminished. And if somebody owns all three, well, then that makes life just a whole heck of a lot easier for me. Um, so that's, that's how we're going to handle that. Um, anytime I, I have a, a, a random... It goes based on team slot. Uh, but it was a good question. And do we have any other questions before we begin? Because um, I know some people are new. We have standard operating procedures in place for just about everything, even if Charlie Ward ends up being the jersey. <laughs> I was never drafted in the NFL, but I was drafted by two baseball teams and played 11 years in the NBA. How do you figure that one out? Well, you just let everybody get a shot at it. That's how. Um, and with the game day great jersey again um, now you see here this uh, these jerseys here right they, you can tell that is a Packer jersey you can tell that's a Bears jersey so if you can tell what team it's for um, that's the team that's going to get it um, we've had it where it was a college jersey for a pro player so what ended up happening with that was a Joe Theismann. He only played, you know, for the Redskins his career, so that was easy. 
but we do have tiebreaker rules in effect for guys who are retired. They had to have played at least three years for the one team for it to count towards a random. Um, if it's a current player and it's a college jersey, then it's going to go to their current team. So if it's like Frank Gore's college jersey, well, yeah, I know he's played more years for the 49ers, but he's with the Colts, so that's how it's going to count. So, you know, pretty much, um, pretty much how that's going to run. Um, and then I just got to check one last thing on this break. I don't remember if this is the one I needed to do this for. All right, that's the one where we did the 12% off three teams. Okay, cool. All right, so without further ado, let's get ripping into Don Russell Lee and see what we can get for everybody here. Uh, looks like I got the Redskins and the Bengals in this one. Any good rookies for those teams? I'm really, I'm, I'm not even following. I'm so busy with work. I'm bad with training camp this year. I totally could be much better with that. But, uh, hey, you know, got to gotta put my focus where it is. I, I leave for work. I, I get home 15 minutes before uh, <laughs> break time, get the garbage out on the curb, and start ripping open packs. So this is how we roll here. All right, so for Elite, gorgeous cards, love the design. We got Blake Bortle, Amari Cooper. We got a serial numbered Aaron Rodgers. Look at that, numbered one out of 199. So we got El Numero Uno right there. Numero Uno deserves a sleeve. What do you guys think? Ah, uh, like it. All right, so we got Delaney Walker. And another Titan right there, Marcus Mariota. I'm sure we'll see Russell Wilson, who happened to be the, uh, the VIP pass that I got my first time at the Nationals. Very exciting stuff. Uh, no hit. Blank. We got a die cut here. Oh, we got somebody who's willing to take the Redskins. All right, hold on. We've only opened one pack. Uh, that's fair enough. Redskins are 30. They were originally 35. I marked them down to 30. I had the Bengals at 40. They were marked down to 35, and I offered to combo them off together for 60. Um, so just give me an answer in the next uh, five packs. Jim Kelly. We got Devonta Freeman. There we go. Jamal Charles, advantage. Home field advantage. Not a numbered uh, parallel or anything like that. Uh, but what do we have coming out this week? Unparalleled. That looks like some fun. Brandon Cooks, uh, Phillip Rivers, with the National last week and the week before, uh, what we're referring to in my house as worst day ever, which uh, could have, I mean, things can always be worse. But uh, I didn't get to do that markdown breakdown segment. I still have the, the script here from, uh, from the one I was going to last do. So I'll probably just run through the motions with that one. And then I'll have a, another segment that I'll do. I'll probably double up this week and talk about some upcoming stuff. Um, very shortly upcoming. I'll, I'll probably want to talk about Strata Baseball and, uh, and that Unparalleled set that looks really cool. Um, Gala came out, and uh, that's also on the board for uh, some stuff we're doing. And uh, Onyx finally got through the delivery of the um, game used batting gloves. They've got some cool stuff in the works for next year, too, so uh, I'm going to keep getting that Onyx stuff. Teddy Bridgewater, getting the TriStar stuff, too, because they gave me free stuff at National, and they had no... They didn't have to, so <laughs> Demarius Thomas. Uh I'm I'm easily bought. My PayPal is <laughs> Tyreek Hill rookie card for the Chiefs. Uh Jeremy Macklin also the Chiefs. And there's DeAndre Hopkins.
Ooh, that's pretty. It's not signed or anything, but it's pretty. Jay Cutler for the Bear. 